Yep, I'm back. Another day in quarantine, another day talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs, but this one's a good topic. It is about Jason Spezza re-signing with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're back. We're back. We're talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs. All right, so before we get deeper into the video, I just want to say it is Sunday and it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to my mother, to everyone else's mother out there. They're incredible people, incredible women. Thank you so much for all the support, Mom. I really appreciate it. And I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you so much. Thank you to all the other moms out there for supporting your child and putting their dreams up for them and giving them that hope. And let's now get into the video. I also forgot to say, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you really enjoy it, subscribe. And now, back to the video. Being both a center and a winger at sometimes on the fourth line, Jason Spezza had 25.9 goals, 16 assists in 58 games this season. He may have gotten more points if he would have been allowed to play in the season opener, Mike. Nick, we said we weren't going to say his name in any videos anymore. I'm sorry. Stubborn didn't put him in the home opener. But we all know the story. Last summer, Jason Spezza was a free agent. The Leafs got him on a one-year, $700,000 league minimum contract. And you know, I don't often say this, but that was probably one of the best deals that Kyle Dubas made. John Tavares is up there, of course. He's probably the best deal that Kyle Dubas got. But Jason Spezza at a one-year, 700 k deal was pretty good too. And when you bring a player like Jason Spezza into that dressing room, into that team at All Matters, it helps them so much. And even though it's not on the ice as much, it still helps everywhere else. But now I've got another graphic which we are in right now, and it is going to explain the reasons why the Toronto Maple Leafs need to re-sign Jason Spezza. First of all, number one, he makes everybody on the team better, especially the young guys. We saw throughout the season on the bench, if the camera was pointed at Jason, he was always talking to the younger players like Marner, Nylander, everyone else. He was always giving them tips on how to be better throughout the game. And we even saw towards the beginning of the season, Jason Spezza helping out young players like Marner, for example, in face-offs because there is points when Marner's on the penalty kill that he does have to take face-offs. It's not often but there is still that possibility and although he's on the fourth line his important role to the team is much more diverse than you might think you might just think oh he's a fourth line player he's not really that important well yeah guess what he is kind of important he's actually not kind of he's very important but thankfully we all like the Toronto Maple Leafs and we all know that Jason Spezza is very important Somebody doesn't, but thankfully, he's gone now. Number two on the reasons why he needs to stay, he's still a good player for the Toronto Maple Leafs or for any other team in the NHL. Even though he's 36 years old, and yes, he's slowing down a little bit, his foot speed isn't there as much anymore, this guy still dominates on an NHL level. For one, he's still on the second power play unit, and he's also sometimes taking key face-off at key moments in the game. And don't even get me started on his shot. You want to know his shot? I got a stick right here. He literally takes the puck, and he just freaking whips it. That was a bad example, but he takes the puck, and he shoots it like Austin Matthews. This guy still has his shot. And it is incredible. And when he shoots that puck, it is like a laser beam. And when it goes right past the goalie, we all scream. We're all happy because we have Jason Spezza at a league minimum deal. And speaking of league minimum, number three is he'd be a cheap option and he'd also understand the role that he would be put in on the Leafs. He's old, he's slow, he can still shoot the puck, he can still play at key moments in the game. And if Kyle Dubas chooses to sign him, that will probably be a great benefit to this team. But he also does understand if the Leafs are winning and they need to close out a game or they're losing by one goal and they need to pull Freddy and get an extra attacker out, Spezza knows he won't go out there and he won't play. And that's good. He understands it. And that's what we need on this team. We don't need a player who's old and thinks, you know, I'm still good. I still should be out there. That's not Jason. Jason's a good guy. He's a happy guy, always smiling. And he always knows when it's best for him to be on the ice. And again, even with him not being on the ice, he still provides that great help off the ice, in the dressing room, with the young guys, with the older guys, just being a happy person and just being good to everyone. That helps go a long way 
in terms of playing well, in terms of scoring goals, in terms of getting the team hyped, because I'm sure he does that in the dressing room too. And it very well could happen that Kyle Dubas re-signs him to maybe an $800 or $900,000 contract. And you know what? I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with giving him one year at that price because, well, he's a good player. Again, he knows how to use the players. He knows how to get them going, and he's also good at helping them out. He's going to soon want to go on his final run in the NHL, whether that be with his old team, Ottawa, whether that be with his hometown, the Toronto Maple Leafs. If Dubas does get him signed and locked down to either a one or a two year deal, that'll be fine with me. Anything else we all know that's not probably going to happen. It's not likely that he gets signed to a three or four year deal. At this point, that is... No, that, that's gone out the window. Why am I even talking about that? I'd be fine, but I don't know if other people would be fine with giving him a two-year $700,000 contract. I don't know if people would want that. I think people would still want him at that one-year deal because he could come into next season and not make an impact at all, and then the Leafs would know, hey, we have him for the next season too, and that might be tough. So again, I'd maybe say a two-year route. I know that might not be the best thing to do, but I know, in fact, he could make a difference to this team and the Leafs have this open window now of winning the cup and if they can do that next year or the year after and it would be with Jason Spezza on the team I would be fine with it but like I say every video I'm not the GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs I would never be the GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs so I am probably wrong the one-year deal is probably the best suited option me though I'd like him on a two-year deal just to have him here. Okay, Nick, you're you're fired as the Toronto Maple Leafs GM of YouTube. That's it. You're done. You're done. Okay, well, guess what? I'm going to be the coach next. How are you going to like... No. No coaching. No coaching. You're not even... You're not going there. Fine. Just be, just be Austin Matthews. I'll take the puck and I'll shoot it. Just kidding. The only place I do that is in Beer League. And we're not playing Beer League hockey right now. I promise I wouldn't cry. <laughs> just kidding no criers in this youtube channel unless the leafs win the stanley cup if that happens see these eyes right here there'll be tears in them okay we're very off track here we need to get back on the wheelhouse and finish this video jason spezza will be re-signed that is 100 happening i don't have sources i'm not elliot friedman bob mckenzie chris johnson or anybody else but I'm hoping Kyle Dubas signs him to at least a one-year deal just to have him back because we all love him. We all love his smile. We all love his contributions to the team. And I'm sure he loves being here as well. But now, since I just wasted a minute of your time talking about the Leafs, crying about them not winning a Stanley Cup, and then saying I wouldn't cry unless they did win the Stanley Cup. I don't even know if that made sense. Since I wasted those two minutes, I'm going to say this right now. Would you want him to be re-signed, whether that be a one-year or two-year deal? Let me know in the comment section down below. Twitter already answered that question. They were like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there was a lot of yeses. But anyways, that's where I'm going to end off the video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. If you really enjoyed it and you want the Leafs to win the Stanley Cup. This is a garbage bag, but um, still... It could be the Stanley Cup! Yeah! Well, if you want them to win that, subscribe. Leave a like again. Comment down below. Do you think it'll happen? Do you think Jason Spezza will get re-signed? Who knows? Go Leafs go? Can I get a go Leafs go? Yeah, we can. We can also see you in the next video. Good. Bye. Hello, I'm back. Go Leafs go! I haven't even had coffee a lot today. I still got that energy. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, including mine. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.